friends so i decided to end the year in my pjs in this video because we know that the year 2020 has been mostly virtual so this is how most of us spend our year uh, attending virtual meetings in our pajamas without our makeup without our accessories so i just decided let's end it authentically and in this video i decided to invite uh, a few of my friends from around the world to share their lessons for 2020 so each of them will be sharing what they learned but before we go into the video i also want to share my two lessons for 2020. the first one is perspective perspective it's about how you, you look at your life it's about how you look at a challenge it's about how you look at a pandemic it's about how you look at a crisis so as much as many of us lost our jobs as much as uh, many of us lost our income and as many uh, of us um, lost our loved ones it's also about there are people who took an opportunity in this year 2020 there are people who started businesses there are people who started any money online uh, so i just want to challenge you as you go into 2021 uh, change your, your perspective because we have learned in 2020 uh, we don't always have everything in control so it's about how you look at a crisis so that's my first lesson my second lesson is that i started this uh, uh, channel in a very imperfect way i did not have equipment i still don't have it i did not know how to edit i'm learning on the way I felt like I'm not eloquent enough, but I started anyway because I felt the need to talk about the real challenges. So I just want to challenge you, whatever it is in your life that you want to start. If you want to start loving yourself and prioritizing yourself more, start. If you want to start a business, start. If you want to start a channel or anything else like me, just start in an imperfect way. If you want to start traveling, just start. If you want to start saving more money in your life, start anyway. So these are the two lessons I learned. Please do enjoy the video. It's very authentic, unscripted, unedited. I wanted to bring it to you as raw as possible before because I think 2020 was a very imperfect year. So do enjoy the lessons from my friends from around the world. Okay, so I can say, uh, okay, thanks for the question, Pinky, and thanks for the opportunity to participate in this project. I would say for, for me, lessons about the pandemic, or from the pandemic, from the coronavirus and its lockdowns, restrictions on travel and so on, I would say two things. One, uh, I would say to make time for uh, family and friends or those close to you. And I will say the second most important one for me is uh, to invest in yourself. Invest in your mental health and the things you enjoy, whether it's playing sports, golf, basketball, going for a jog reading books and really just doing the simple things because yeah I think the, the virus has just reminded us that there's so many simple things we can enjoy and we don't have to do the most complicated of things just to be well so investing in yourself and spending time with those close to you family and close friends so yeah thanks again cheers 2020 has taught me to be grateful for the relationships in my life the ones with my friends my family my kitties we need to have that trust in each other to say when we're not okay and when we are to celebrate with each other and that has certainly helped me get through the most difficult times of this year and i cannot wait to celebrate and see each other once this pandemic is over hi guys my name is dikele dimunyamani what i learned this year is that we need to start embracing challenges disruptions roadblocks and anything happening outside of our plans um with positivity because when i think about how COVID 19 basically came to disrupt us and to take us out of our comfort zones all of us and um, regardless of our different walks of lives um it was something that really helped us um that shook us up um in areas where we had been procrastinating it forced us to make decisions and to you know make life changes and it forced us to 
to see opportunities where they may not have been opportunities so i am now learning to embrace everything that is outside of my control um and i'm learning to ask myself what is the situation teaching me and how can i make the best out of this situation as much as possible i may not be able to control what happens to me but i can control how i respond to it and that is my lesson for 2020 i hope you have an amazing christmas and a happy new year my lesson for 2020 is to trust and surrender in 2020 i've learned to trust in god's process and not be shaken by the potholes and the turbulence that sometimes lay the path ahead learning to make decisions from a place of trust and not fear regardless of the circumstances going on around me has allowed me to progress in the path that god has created for me the second part of my 2020 lesson is to surrender to God, to surrender to God's will and let go of the desire to control the outcomes. And trust and surrender are connected because you, I can only surrender when I trust that regardless of how things seem like, God will see me through. By accepting the circumstances around me and surrendering, I'm able to take the next step and trust that God will see me through. All right, what did I learn in 2020? basically to step back reflect and see all these good things you you have in life you know focus on the family and your partner and not to rush from one big thing to the next big thing basically based on what people do tell you is important so take a look around and uh, see the good things in life uh, they can be small but uh, see them and reflect on it. That was my learning from 2020. Biggest lesson 2020. Uh, <laughs> childhood neglect manifests itself as overly independent, as a perfectionist, or as a procrastinator. Mind blowing. I loved it. Why? Many of us uh, suffered childhood emotional neglect, not abuse. And because it was not abuse, our parents, our communities, and ourselves did not realize that there is something that the child is lacking that contributes to being a holistic person. You know what I mean? So you become this overly independent person, and we don't understand why. Until when you were growing up, you, you, you learned that you cannot rely on, on anyone. You had no one to rely on. Or you're a perfectionist. You become a perfectionist because you don't want to be scalded or to be compared to anybody or you, you understand you have to be on top because of the same thing important to all of us hi pinky um thanks for this what i learned in 2020 um was patience self-love went on a healing journey and i also learned um about the benefits of therapy and how it helps one to deal with um, a lot of things because I have a lot of things going on um, but going to therapy was probably the best self-care that I could have given myself um, or gifted myself this year um, so yeah just just that on its own has been tremendously helpful um, and it's also taught me like a lot of things about myself as well thanks hello uh what i learned in 2020 uh two things i think to be thankful and to accept to be to be thankful for kind of all the amazing parts of learning and growth that have come in a year like this and to accept all the things that i am not thankful for um, and to take those as givens and once they are kind of truly accepted not to fight with them uh, to allow for all the thankful things to to take control so to be thankful and to accept has been my 2020 lots of love to you all what did 2020 teach me Firstly, 2020 taught me about the resilience of the human spirit. 
um, human beings are incredibly resilient. Two, adaptability. Uh, the pandemic started and the whole world just had to adapt. We had to adapt the way we live, the way we socialize, the way we work, and we just rolled with the punches. Three, and probably most importantly, 2020 taught me or rather reminded me to live. Um, to, as far as possible, chase your dreams and your ambitions, you know, to, if you want to go back to school, do that. If you want to start a business, do that. If you want to travel, do that. Whatever living means to you, do that because you genuinely don't have, know what can happen tomorrow. Something random like a global pandemic can turn your whole life upside down. So just live. Hey guys, this is Tejbeer from India. During the lockdown and COVID, I've realized there are three most important things to keep yourself there. One, the first one is being physically fit, eating right and exercising. Second would be being mentally fit. Obviously, that's the most important one I feel. But even more important one, the third one would be subscribing to Netflix. Take care, guys. Hi, Pinky. How you doing? Um, thank you so much for including me in this really cool video. Um, this has been a, a really challenging year and um, I've learned a lot. I think I've learned a lot about patience and being with myself. Um, and when there's nothing to do and nowhere to go, what do you do? And how do you uh, make those moments meaningful? And even if those moments don't feel meaningful, you know, how to, uh, how to find meaning in them. And so one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot over this past year is an Islamic verse that says, uh, Verily with hardship comes ease, indeed with hardship comes ease. And um, while we've all been living in a time of deep hardship, may ease come to us all. And so here's to a beautiful 2021 that is happy and fulfilling and prosperous. And for those who've been struggling most this year, may this year be the ease that they desperately need. Thank you and happy new year, happy holidays. Most of you know it has been a tough year, so I just decided to come and sit here and save Happy New Year to all my viewers and thank you so much for all the engagement that I've seen on the channel. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing mostly professionals in the New Year uh, covering all the topics that we've been covering. So do tune into the channel and share the video, like, comment and subscribe and share it with your friends and your family. Happy New Year!